Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be covering a double order strategy. I'm going to show games where I did well and I executed the strategy effectively and then other games where I did absolutely terribly and, and hopefully you can learn a few things. First up against Bella, super strong tra trainer from the Virginia area. Uh, so the objective is to catch the grass. So obviously caught the grass there. I see it's Sableye. I'm going to switch out to Azumarill. I, could, I should consider, so I have Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump for Registeel, and then Ice Beam for the Grass types. Uh, so I am going to look to, he does get the Power Gem to go through, which is totally fine. And I am looking to land this Ice Beam, and I think this is just going to be a foul play. Even a Power Gem, I probably would be able to survive and get to, uh, get to it, so he ends up going for... Uh, the foul play and then at this point in time I decided that um, I'm willing to go down two shields uh, just because uh, wish cash worst case scenario is going to be able to blizzard the Venusaur and able to KO it so we're going to see come in and I'm not going to take any risks I'm just going to go straight for the mud bomb and I'm able to take out the Sableye and I know the Venusaur is coming back in, so I come back in, look to get a little bit of energy, and it ends up being Registeel. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, this is pretty bad for me. Um, and I looked this up beforehand. Uh, Skarmory cannot beat the Registeel uh, two shields to zero, especially since I'm missing some bubbles on this Sky Attack. Uh, so my, my objective is to uh, get it as low as possible. And obviously his objective is to come out of this matchup with 100 energy, so he's going to be able to burn both my shields. Uh, so all I need to do is be able to effectively, oh my gosh, I'm missing so many bubbles, <laughs> effectively uh, farm down this. And then I'm going to switch out to gain the energy advantage. Uh, even if it's just a little bit, that's all I'm going to need. And I'm going to look to land. I am going to overcharge because the thing is that he's not going to be able to knock me out or faint me with lock-ons. Uh, so even these vine webs doing a lot of damage doesn't really matter too much. And to be honest, he's low enough health that potentially I could still get off another charge move uh, with uh, Skarmory. So that worked out um, pretty well. Uh, so again, some of these games execute strategy. The, the goal is to catch the grass. And you're going to see... Some of these games, the, the biggest uh, downfall of this strategy is is actually Meganium and Shift Tree. And uh, this, this strategy works out really well uh, for um, when it's Venusaur. But when it when it's not, uh, you'll see like some of the issues I encountered. I actually didn't realize it was. Uh, uh, so again, I'm going to switch out. Again, looking to catch the grass and then uh, end up catching a Zoomerl, which is not great for me so i am going to look to hit uh, back to back if you, if you don't hit back to back then it's actually this is a really terrible matchup i'm going to lose this matchup but at least i can put it super low and i am going to look to and i'm like okay i'm like as long as this ice beam it's okay-ish and i'm going to commit and we encounter a little bit of lag there but it's okay and then again the back-to-back -back. gonna put this uh, Azumarill pretty low to be honest I could shield and then farm it down and then take switch advantage uh, but again since he has no grass I'll take like the little bit of, of energy and then here comes Skarmory what's in the back in this matchup i think pretty sure pretty sure i lose this matchup and here comes uh you know what i should have done i should have went up for um yeah i should have i should have sky attacked the uh, swamper so um i know this this uh this uh, uh swamper has a high probability of of having sludge wave because fp sticks just did a video 
showing that uh, he really likes Sludge Wave on his uh, on his Swampert. So I'm like, oh, it's probably gonna have it, and and I'm like thinking about how I can potentially play this out, and I'm like desperate for this clock to come up, but it's uh it's not unfortunately gonna come up for me. And I switch out, uh, questionable strategy on my part, and very questionable here is I should have commit to the farm down uh, because now I'm gonna CMP tie against this uh, Swampert uh, when I really should have just, uh, you know, realized that, the, that we're gonna CMP tie and I needed that energy for, um, for the Skarmory. So he's gonna correctly flash cannon me and then I'm gonna get fainted down. So there's no point in me going for the ice beam, uh, just because the ice beam wouldn't do enough. I needed to land land the hydro pump. Ice beam would do about like a little under a third. So again, we're gonna go into this matchup and match up against Bella again. Unfortunately, I hate being matched up with the same person, even if you have like a favorable team and again I see the Venusaur lead and I'm gonna I auto switch I should have switched to wish cash I don't know why it's, I, I don't know why I didn't wait um so I was like is this shadow ball should, so be it and then I'm gonna go for the ice beam And he correctly commits to the faint down. And, and then I realize like this wish cache is like no good to me. It's gonna get absolutely demolished by the Venusaur. So I, I just no shield. And then I'm gonna switch out immediately. Into Skarmory. And then I realized that this is an Azumarill, and I have a two to one shield advantage, and I should win, should just barely win the two to one. Um, that's if I shield the, um, actually no, two to one. Two to one actually should win by quite a bit. Even if they bait me uh, twice, uh, they won't be able to get off the third charge move. So, so I feel pretty good. I uh, am going to commit to the faint down, and then here comes the charge move. It's going to be Hydro Pump. He realizes like this is his only way to win, is to land the Hydro Pump. I'm sort of actually surprised he didn't shield. And then, because uh, now the, the, like, the Venusaur wasn't going to beat Skarmory. Skarmory would have to be very low, and unfortunately not quite low enough. And I go for the Sky Attack and I get the KO. All right. And uh, we go into the next match again. I like to wait a little bit just to make sure I don't get paired up with the same person. Again, even if I absolutely demolish them, I don't want to be paired up with the same person. It's not, it's not no fun especially if they're rocking the same team. So again, I'm gonna switch out into Wish Cash. And they're gonna switch out into Defense Deoxys. And I really wish I Blizzard. I wish I Blizzard here, but uh, it's okay. They went for the... And uh, so I have like a decent matchup, mostly because the Psycho Boost nerf, uh, Rock Slide and Thunderbolt are gonna both be resisted. These counters are doing quite a bit of damage, but you're gonna see how little these rock slides do. And I know he's gonna get to another rock slide uh, and as well the mud bomb is not gonna KO. So I am gonna put some shield pressure on and I go for the mud bomb. And I go for another one. Uh, unfortunately the counter went through, which is okay. Uh, let's see if this my opponent does double shields. They do not. And I'm able to just barely faint down. And then I'm able to get the Mud Bomb off before the Umbreon can KO with Snarl. 
and uh, they built up a decent amount of energy. Uh, so I go into a zoom roll. It's a little risky on my part, uh, mostly because like I don't necessarily know what they have in the back. Likely it's the Skarmory, going to be the Skarmory counter. So these last resorts are not, they're not doing a lot. They're like just, but they're just barely chipping away at Umbreon. And I go for the Hydro Pump. This is where Player Off definitely would have been helpful. But Hydro Pump's still going to do a lot of damage. And okay, what do I do here? So I think I let this go. And I'm trying to time it to catch the last resort and then they end up switching out and they switch out into Alolan Marowak again this is their hard Skarmory counter uh, I missed some bubbles there unfortunately uh, which I'm sure cost me some matches so I'm like okay uh, you know what the the move to do is is go for the the bone club so I decide to no shield and I'm in like a very good position right now and we both decide to go for it and we simultaneous KO, which works out perfectly fine for me because this Umbreon has zero health left and I'm able to Ice Beam it. It probably had some energy. It probably should have, uh, I don't know uh, what the right, necessarily right play was gonna be there, whether I should have actually fired off the charge move. Could have stayed in and got two foul plays off, which would have been really annoying. Uh, but I understand like uh, Alolan Marowak has a positive matchup. I'm going up against Ku Kenny, uh, one of my locals, very super strong trainer. He's uh, beaten me many times. And he comes in with Hypno, a Shadow Hypno. So I switch out into Azumarill, and then I realize like, oh, I don't have to play Rough Varian. This is going to be rough for me. Pun intended. So I'm like... Yeah, this is not great for me. There goes the Hydro Pump. And I'm pretty sure he really wants to control switch advantage. So I go for the Hydro Pump. And to my surprise, he actually shields. And I debate switching and trying to catch the charge move and all that stuff, but it's quite all right. It goes for the play rough. And then I know I'm going to win the CMP tie, so I go straight for the sky attack. And, and I know he has enough energy for a hydro pump. He survives with like one HP left, so I shield or else this hydro pump would do a lot of damage to me. And he comes in with Charizard, and then I switch out into Wishcash. He blind switches to Hypno. So I'm like, okay, this is not a great situation for me. I have no idea why I went for this Blizzard. This is a really dumb move on me. Uh, Shadow Pokemon are so squishy that people are for sure going to shield. So they're not really sure what I was trying to accomplish uh, with uh, going for the Blizzard. So I know this is going to be... Well, if there's a Shadow Ball, that's fine too. And he expends all his energy. So then I realized like, okay, uh, potentially I can almost KO this Charizard uh, with a little bit of energy. But I don't want to tank too many confusions and I certainly don't want to shield, uh, tank another charge move. So I'm gonna, I am gonna Sky Attack to get rid of this uh, Hypno. And and then I was like, please. And I think Kukeni uh, makes a mistake. So I go for the charge move. Uh, so he actually goes for uh, the charge move. And it's a very questionable charge move. Just because he's very unlikely to get to it. He, he was actually at the amount of energy. Um, but he wasn't able to, to get off that last Dragon Claw. So this is an earlier set. This is where like I don't play quite as well as I did in that first set. Um, and you're going to see some of the mistakes that that I did. Did I battle this person before? I can't tell. So anyways, uh, they lead Venusaur. So this should be a really positive matchup for me. And they go into Hypno. And I go into... Uh, the thing is, I should have fired off the Sky Attack into the Hypno. 
and it's just a thunder punch. Oh, okay. This is... Oh, yeah. I know, I know what happened here. So I go for the blizzard. It connects. Okay. Yeah, this is... Oh, man. I'm so mad about this match. Uh, so I shield, and then we lag. And then, uh, then you know what happens. This is this is Go Battle League. Um, I come out of this matchup, and I'm like, I'm like, what's happening here? What's happening here? Wish Cash gone. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Oh man, Ugh. it's okay. It's okay. I don't expect people to stop tapping. Um, it would be very nice of them, but it is what it is. So I decide that I need to uh, commit to this farm down, despite how many how much damage I'm taking. Oh no no I don't why, why don't I farm down? Oh, because I'm afraid the frenzy plants are gonna KO me. So I'm just barely able to. So that was a really ideal farm, and I have no idea how much energy this hypno has. And I get off one more air slash before firing off the sky attack. And then, and then here comes the zoom roll. So I'm like, okay, I need to get us off as many sky attacks as possible. Hopefully my opponent doesn't shield. Because it's not like it's doing a lot of damage. But I'm going to be able to chip away. And they actually fire off the charge move, which is fine. And they have two shields left, remember that. And so I get them to red, which puts them at like 45 health. Each ice beam does like 23, and each bubble does four. So it only take 10 bubbles to be able to bubble down, I think. Is that right? 11, 11 bubbles, 11, 12 bubbles. Uh, so very likely that I would be able to, to win that match. Uh, so my opponent decides to, to quit out, which is fine. Save them some time. And I go into this next match. I like this team. Oh, did I play the same person? Yeah, I think so. Except they, they run a different team, which is fine. I go into Wish Cash, and they go into Meganium. And this is what shocked me. I thought Blizzard KO is all grass types. Oh, actually, no, not here. No, no, no. Oh, so okay. No, this is not the matchup. This is a different matchup. So that's that's really ideal for me. So I come back in. Um, I need to KO this Meganium. They go. He goes for Frenzy Plan. And I really should have. This is the problem. Meganium is way too tanky, and uh, and it's just very. My opponent does a really nice job. Uh, Staying in this matchup long enough to yeah, so I'm gonna look to punish. Yeah, Meganium is way too tanky. It's like very it's too difficult to farm. It takes way too long. So I switch out into a zoom roll. I'm gonna shield the first one. Ends up being a hydro pump. And I go for the Hydro Pump myself. It doesn't KO, which is not necessarily ideal for me. And then my opponent does a really nice job at adapting. Uh, and I really, I should have committed to fainting down or, or saving the energy. Because the Switch Clock is coming up, I could have farmed down with... Um, with uh, Skarmory, um, and they come in with Registeel, and this is this is this game is pretty much a wrap. And uh, they go into the Focus Blast. It's a really nice adjustment by my opponent. And I go for the Hydro Pump. Yeah, I'm unlikely to get another charge move, so a couple mistakes there. I should have shielded and then fainted down, or came in with Skarmory and farmed down. Um, letting that Meganium or being more conscious of my switch clock uh, would allow me to like save that shield for a zoom roll and then would have put me in like a pretty close matchup. 
So I should have fired off the... Yeah, it's just too difficult to... Meganium is way too tanky. Uh, but it's very important that you don't wait on that switch clock so you can get as much of a farm as you as you can. And I was, I was getting a little too greedy there. Well, so my opponent played them well. I'm going up against uh, the Legend 4, uh, Florida Trainer, uh, Season 1, uh, Ace, and then as well... Uh, so this is a very positive situation for me. So I switch out into Wish Cash. So this is a very this is kind of a funny situation. So so I know he's at the Blizzard. I'm like, is he baiting me? No, actually lands the Blizzard, right? Which is fine. And then I go for the Mud Bomb. This is actually, this match was pretty funny actually. So I go for the Mud Bomb, and then I go for another Mud Bomb. But because I was like one Mud Shot away, he probably thought I had a Blizzard. So he ends up shielding, and then. He goes for a, a Mud Bomb, which actually doesn't KO. And I think he tried to farm down, because he definitely should have energy for for another Mud Bomb. And then I end up like winning that matchup and uh, being up a shield, so very ideal for me. And he goes into Haunter. And Haunter, I, it's such a guessing game on whether or not this is going to be Shadow Ball or not. It's Shadow Ball, and then I know he's going to switch out, so I switch out into Skarmory. But all I really need to do, I already have an Ice Beam ready. Um, typically, I would just farm all the way down, especially if they had Razor Leaf. Uh, since they have Air Slash, it does a little bit uh, more, so then I just get enough so that I can get off a of Sky Attack. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go all the way. And then Tropius is very tanky, and I'm able to farm down. I have a Sky Attack ready. And then I have an Ice Beam ready, so unless unless he like aggressively farms me down, uh, which is definitely not going to happen, and as well the Switch Clock is coming up, and he actually decides to, to no shield, realizing that I already have a charge move on Azumarill in the back, so GG. So catch the grass, and uh, in theory you should be pretty good, but uh, what it, it was a, it, this is a good team. Um, I really liked. Um, just farming the grass more effectively um, would have been would have been better for me. Okay, I think this is the one where they. This is the one that completely changed my. Actually, no, shift tree is also a problem in this lineup, right? So, I switch out into. I need to fire off, when it's a zoom roll. I need to fire off the sky attack to help me win this match. Thankfully, he just goes for the Ice Beam, and I need to hit the back-to-back -back Mud Bombs. Or if I let a bubble go through, it's it's terrible for me. And I let a bubble go through, so I was like, okay, this is not this is gonna be a very rough matchup for me. And and then here comes the Ice Beam, and I need to get off this Mud Bomb. And I'm absolutely desperate to get this additional one off. Unfortunately, I faint. Um, if I was able to get the back-to-back, -back, then I probably would have been able to get it off. So I go into my own zoom roll, and I just got way too greedy in this situation. I know my zoom roll has like really good PvP IV, so it's not going to win a CMP tie. So I get way too aggressive on this farm, and then I get hit by another play rough. So, uh, so terrible for me. And I decide to undercharge this so I can bubble down. It's basically my only play. And he's probably like one bubble shorter of an ice beam. And then here comes shift tree. So I go for the ice beam. And then I switch out to catch the leap blade. But this matchup's. Uh, it's definitely over Registeel. Okay, so I I thought about this, how I could have played this potentially better. Um, in theory, if I fire off enough charge, we both fire off enough charge moves, then and I, I double shield, I can like potentially stall out this match. So if I go against Registeel, and 
I go like two shields to zero. That's 79 seconds. So in theory, I could have like, see like there, the switch clock is about to come up and I haven't used any shields. Um, yeah, I could have stalled out, which probably would have been better for me. He doesn't shield. So I was like, okay, yeah, anyways, I could have, I could have, I don't know, I don't know actually how I could have played this out better, but, and, yeah, this is, this is GG. This problem of, like, uh, going into wish cash is, like, then a zoom roll. A zoom roll is a, uh, a check for registeel, but not a counter, and then the timer is almost up and uh, able to finish me off with this leaf blade, so really nice job. Double water strategy. I think there's one more game. Yeah, this should be the last game. Who's it against? So I caught a favorable lead, but I was not able to convert, which, uh, Okay, so I think I remember this being a pretty good match. So I go into Wish Cash, and they go into Meganium. Oh, this is where I was. This is where I was totally shocked. I honestly believe can't believe this happened. It tanked it. I thought it was gonna one shot it. I was like, Are you kidding me? And I was like, That is absolutely terrible. So, and I'm like, Okay, I, I need to win switch advantage then. And then I really debated. I could have potentially farmed down, but I was like, okay, I'll take I'll take this farm. I, I can't believe the Meganium survived a blizzard. It makes total sense. Meganium's decent, way tankier than yeah, way tankier. So I switch out into a Zoomerall. And these rock slides are annoying. Doesn't have thunderbolt, but the in these bubble like Mal metal is very squishy in the in the Great League. So I go for the ice beam, hopefully to get the bait. And I do, which is amazing for me. And what do I do here? A shield. And they go into Altaria. Explains why. Why he didn't switch out. And then I need to switch out into Skarmory. And then I decide that I'm just going to farm down. That's pretty much my only play. I guess I can double up. So one, there's three, three, there's four, there's five. Oh, that's pretty much the same as farming down. And then I debate. I should have probably flash cannon. I had two sky attacks ready. Um, let's see what the right, correct decision is. Well, obviously it worked out for me. Um, flash cannon would have did about a third, so it definitely looked like it was around a third. So I could just did one flash cannon, uh, and and would have been able to win that match more effectively. But yeah, so the strategy doesn't work as well because uh, when there's meganium and shift tree. Uh, but when it comes to um, Venusaur, you can see those late game blizzards or even the shield pressure from blizzard uh, works out uh, pretty well. So anyways, let me know what you think about this team or what team you're going to be trying out once uh, season, uh, season one comes out. And uh, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.